channel or if you're new here then welcome so today as you've probably gathered i am back with my august monthly reading wrap up yeah which means i'll be showing you obviously all the books that i've read in august so this month i actually read 11 books so as per usual you might want to grab a pen and a piece of paper or just grab your phone because guys you are gonna want to note down some of these books that you're gonna have to read we have summer books book top books colleen hoover books all things trending as per usual oh my book pile just collapsed our first book that we read this month was indeed It Happened One Summer by the author Tessa Bailey. So I've seen people rave about Tessa Bailey everywhere and this was my first ever Tessa Bailey book. And let me just say, guys, it did not disappoint. It was so good. So this book is actually about Piper, who's like an influencer and she has millions of followers on Instagram and she's kind of like rich and living this fancy lifestyle. And then there's this guy, Brendan, who's like a miserable, grumpy sailor. So Piper gets in trouble and her family's had enough they're like love you need to get your life together bye and they send her off to this seaside town she has to live in like this rundown building with rats everywhere but she gets stuck in and then she meets him and they go out on their boat together and the romance starts blossoming and oh my gosh and i know summer's over but genuinely you could definitely read this in the fall time as well because like towards the end of the summer i think this is more sad like the breaking of summer so i rated this a four and a half stars it is very spicy so if you are under the age of 18 definitely ask your parents before you read this one because i didn't know tessa bailey wrote like that okay next up but then i read a colleen hoover book now i thought i was gonna love this book because a is colleen hoover and b you know it's a summer reread there's a holiday home there's parties on the sand at night but guys i just wasn't feeling it so basically it's about this girl called Bea. still not sure if that's how you say her name she actually tells you in the book how you pronounce her name and i still couldn't do it so we're just gonna call it Bea. And she comes from this life of poverty. Like she has no money, she never has done. Her mum is a drug addict. And then something happens to her mum, I'm not gonna say what, but she has to move to live with her dad, who she hasn't seen in years. So she gets to this holiday home with her dad where she's gonna be living and her next door neighbor is this young guy called Samson. And instantly they kind of connect in and everything. But Samson is not exactly who he says he is and he has like secrets and stuff. So it's a really chill, fun summer read. But honestly, the plot twist was like, guys, the plot plot twist is awful. It was so bad I didn't even realise it was the plot twist until I got to the end and googled it and I was like oh, damn. So I gave this book a two and a half stars which is one of the lowest I've ever rated a Colleen Hoover book. There just wasn't much happening like guys I just wasn't impressed but let me know if you've read this one. Okay next up I read this book The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren and guys this is set in Hawaii. What a scene. So it's about a girl called Olive and a guy called Ethan. So basically in this book Olive's sister Amy is about to get married but at the wedding there's a seafood buffet and everyone who eats it gets food poisoning the only two people that don't eat it is olive and ethan but they hate each other olive's sister amy is like well we're all sick and there's no point wasting the honeymoon to hawaii so she literally gives the honeymoon tickets to olive and ethan and they jet off to hawaii they hate each other and they're gonna have to spend all this time together on the airplane they have to like stay in the same hotel room with only one bed honestly guys the banter in this i was crying laughing it is so funny i didn't think i was gonna like this but i gave it a four and a half stars the only reason i didn't give it a full five stars is because at the end it kind of just goes in a completely different direction like they get home from hawaii like three quarters of the way through the book and then all of this is just like random stuff that happens back at home. There's like another story starts. I would have just preferred if it all stayed in Hawaii basically, but a solid four and a half stars. So funny. Next up guys, I read The Summer I Turned Pretty. So I haven't actually seen the TV series yet. It is out on Amazon Prime, but I just decided to read the book instead. And I actually went to the beach when I read this book, so it was perfect. I did give it though a three stars, and I know that everyone's gonna disagree with this because everyone loves this book, but for me, there's not a lot happened. But I did fly through it. I read it in like three hours, four hours maybe? In case you don't know, you probably do, but it's about a girl called Belly, and she has these two friends, Conrad and Jeremiah, and it's kind of like a love triangle. Belly has always been in love with Conrad, but now she's turned pretty. Jeremiah is like liking her, and then Conrad and Jeremiah are fighting, and Belly doesn't know if she likes Jeremiah as more than a best friend, or if she still likes Conrad, and oh my gosh, it's a bit of a mess. And then in amongst all that, we also have one of the family members that has an illness, so it's kind of like some heartache there. But yeah, so quick, easy to read, guys. Highly recommend this, it's good for any age. Next up, again, I read this at the beach, which 
just perfect. The Summer of Broken Rules. Now this is about a girl called Meredith and sadly a few years ago her sister Claire died. And every single summer Meredith and her family go over to this vineyard and have their summer on this island. And basically a game of assassin starts with water pistols. So everyone is given like a target and you have to try and get that person out by shooting them with the water pistol. Once you, the person is out, they have to give you their target then. So it whittles down until in the end there's one winner. And Meredith's sister that died, Claire, she always wins. So Meredith this year is like, I'm determined to win. I'm gonna win this for my sister. But then she meets a guy on the island and she starts to fall for him and get really distracted. And oh my gosh, guys, like I gave this a five star. It was just amazing. And it was so fun, like, following this game. Like, who's gonna get shot with a water pistol? Like, who's gonna win? Highly, highly recommend, guys. Such a fun read. Okay, next up, obviously, I had to read the next one in the Summer I Turn Pretty series. It's not summer without you. And can we talk about how gorgeous this cover is? Because I was feeling this cover. Now, I hear things from people that they love book one, but they don't like book two or three. And I was the other way around. I didn't really like the first book, but I rated this a four stars. I actually loved it. So basically in this book, Conrad goes missing. Um, Belly and Jeremiah have to find him. They have to track him down. And there's also still the love triangle going on as well. She still has feelings for Conrad, but Jeremiah still has feelings for her. But yeah, highly, highly recommend guys. This one was even better. I gave it a four stars. And in saying that, obviously the next book that I read, I just had to, was the third and final book in the trilogy. We'll always have summer. <laughs> How unesthetic is that? I got a different cover from like every series going. No idea why I did that. But this, again, I've heard things from people. They hate this book. Guys, I gave it a five stars. I could not put it down. Like I literally read it in about two hours. But in this one, Belly is now in college. She, I'm not gonna say which one because that's a spoiler, but she starts to date one of the brothers. And then things go south really badly, but then they decide to get married to try and fix the problem and then the other brother is still really jealous and oh my gosh guys there is just so much going on in here and then to just finally find out at the end which brother she ends up with is like oh, finally after three books the love triangle is solved so five star if you do decide to read this trilogy i think they just get better as they go along so i highly highly recommend okay oh we only have four books left the next book that i read was Beach Read by Emily Henry. Now, if you guys watched my last book video, you'll know that I read Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I absolutely loved it. Pretty sure I gave it a five star. So I thought, hmm, this is gonna be perfect. I took it to the beach. You know, guys, I, I tried my best here. I even took the Beach Read to the beach. Still didn't get on with it. It started off so good. I'm not gonna lie. It was so funny. Again, the banter, it was amazing. Then it kind of, you know, it was okay halfway through and then from like a third of the book on I genuinely had to force myself to read it. I dragged myself <laughs> through the last three quarters of the book and I don't even think it was worth it. It's basically about a girl called January. First off, who has a name like that? And a guy called Gus. January writes like romantic novels, they're both writers, and Gus writes like more serious stuff and thinks that romance is a joke basically. Again, they kind of hate each other, but they meet when they end up being next door neighbors and they decide to swap genres. So then January has to write murder stuff and Gus has to try and write romantic comedy. And whilst they both write in these, they start to get feelings for one another, etc. You can probably see where it's going, but I was really disappointed by this book. And so many people I've saw have give it five stars, but guys, it wasn't for me. I gave this book a two star. If you've read this, please let me know, because I feel like I'm the only person that didn't like it. Okay, next up, book number nine. Yeah, I read another Tessa Bailey book, her new release. My Killer Vacation. So it's about a girl called Taylor and she goes on vacation with her brother. She checks in to the apartment and then she notices something strange, that there's two peepholes in the ceiling of her bedroom. So she's like, what the heck is this? And then she goes downstairs, goes into the laundry room and she finds a dead body. So she has to ring the police. This all happens in like the first few pages. And then a detective turns up called Miles. He's really grumpy. They start to fall for one another. Lots of chemistry happens. And whilst all this chemistry is happening, they're also trying to solve this murder of who did it basically. But I gave this book a solid five stars. I absolutely loved it and I highly recommend. Okay, my 10th 
book is One of the Girls. This is a new release by Lucy Clark. Again, this is like a murder mystery. Definitely not a rom-com. It's about a bunch of girls. I think there's six of them and they all go on a hen do to this villa. So again, set by the sea, sand, sun, all that fun stuff. Um, the chapters are really, really short, so it's easy to read. And each chapter is from a different perspective of one of the girls. It can be a lot because you're trying to remember all these names and which girl is which, but because the chapters are so short, it makes the reading really easy. So basically there's loads of like drama going down between them, there's secrets among them, and then there's a murder, like oh my gosh, it, it keeps you guessing until the last page and I genuinely didn't guess who the culprit was, who the bad person was. I rated it a four stars. Yeah, the only bad thing is is that it can get confusing with all the different girls trying to remember who is who, but solid four stars. Okay, and the last book I read all Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Only my second Colleen Hoover book this month. Um, I didn't read the back of this because I wanted to go in blind. I don't think this was for me and I'm probably gonna get bashed for this. But so far out of the eight Colleen Hoover books that I've read, this is my worst rated. One of them has to be lowest, doesn't it? This is gonna happen. Um, it's about a girl called Quinn and a guy called Grim. And it flips between their present and their past. So basically, Quinn and Graham met because their partners were cheating on them. Imagine, that's how you meet. So Quinn comes home early one day, goes up to her apartment and Graham is pacing outside and she's like, who are you? And he's like, I hate to break this to you, but my girlfriend and your boyfriend are in that apartment right now cheating together. So how weird is that? Like, if that's how you met. And then basically in the present time, their marriage now is just awful. So we're flitting back to the past where they were meeting and they were falling in love and everything is so happy. And then in the present, their marriage is just shot. And you're like, how did they, how did this happen? And then it all comes together in the end. The plot twist again was like a two or one. Didn't really know if it was a plot twist. So it's just my least favorite so far out of the eight books I read by here. I give it a two star. And that is the 11 books that I read in August. I definitely think that I've probably read now like every summer book on the face of the earth. But obviously we're gonna be moving into September now and moving into the fall. So I think next month I will probably start reading more thrillers because we're getting into the dark nights, Halloween, that kind of thing. Maybe more murder mysteries as well. So that is everything I read in August, guys. As per usual, please comment down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. If you have any book suggestions for me to read coming up for September and October. Like I said, maybe thrillers. I have already picked up these two ready to start next month, but let me know if you have any more suggestions. I cannot wait to chat with you guys in the comments about these books now, and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But in saying that, guys, have the best day ever. Keep shining. I love you, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye! Mwah.